Hey everybody, Jason here again with GDT Basics and our video question line. Today's topic is true position on a bolt hole diameter. Uh, today's question is rather long, but it's I have an eight hole bolt pattern with a basic diameter of 1.35 and eight times 45 basic angle between those. The position tolerance is true position of five thousandths diametrically to datums A and B. My question is when the basic bolt pattern is 1.350 and the actual diameter of that bolt pattern comes out to be 1.352, how does the 0 0.002 difference figure into the outcome of the actual position of 5 thousandths? Each of the eight hole positions are well within tolerance and the eight hole bolt circle is also well within the 5 thousandths bolt pattern tolerance. Is the 2 thousand difference in the basic hole pattern going to make a difference in the position of the bolt pattern itself? The position of the bolt pattern circle is 0 0.0015. Does that change because of the 0 0.002 oversized condition of the 1.350, which is at actually 1.352? So there's a lot to unwrap here and very common to see position on a bolt circle diameter. So let's take a look at this, what this interpretation actually is. So here we see a pattern of eight holes. Again, each one of those holes has its own size, dimension, and tolerance of five thousandths. But we see each one also has a position tolerance of five thousandths diametrically with respect to A and B. Now these eight holes are arranged on a bolt circle diameter of 1.350, just like the question said, and they're spaced equally at 45 degrees from each other. So datum A is going to be this top surface here, and then datum B is our outside diameter. And so we've locked in five degrees of freedom with this datum structure, uh, and we don't need to lock in that sixth degree of freedom because there's nothing other than this pattern itself that needs to be clocked to anything. So we can leave that open-ended because there's nothing that needs to be clocked together. So the question started out saying the bolt circle diameter uh, nominally at 1.350 actually came in at 1.352, so a little bit bigger in diameter than the nominal position, and that's fine. Um, and that's not actually anything being controlled here. There's no size tolerance telling us how large or small this bolt circle diameter can be. We can do some math to understand how big this position will allow it to be. And in fact, if this hole went out uh, two and a half thou this way, because it gets a diametric tolerance of 5 thou, meaning we can radially shift right 2 and a half thou, and we can radially shift this one left 2 and a half thou. And if all of them went outward, right, each one of them went outward in a direction away from the axis of the center of that bolt circle, we can see that the diameter could grow plus or minus 5 thousandths. So really, we could have anything at the bolt circle diameter uh, if it's perfectly located in the center at 1.355 all the way down to 1.345. But once again, that is nothing we are controlling here with this callout. This callout is simply saying each one of these holes has its own position tolerance of 5 thousandths, meaning this hole right here can shift anywhere it wants 2.5 thousandths radially from its true position, from its ideal location. That's exactly what true position is telling us. And so the combination of size and location, you can see this pattern shifting in location, doesn't really affect the location of the center of the bolt pattern. All we need to make sure is that each one of these holes lands inside its own tolerance zone diametrically of five thousandths. So we can see here an example of that. Each one of these holes has this diametric tolerance zone of 0 0.005. And now this hole can shift up and over to the right. This hole can shift down and over to the left. This one can be over here. Any one of these holes can have its own deviation. And in fact, on an inspection report, the only criteria to report is to report eight locations. We'll have some size reports as well. But as far as this feature control frame is concerned, there are eight line items on an inspection report telling us how each one of these holes is in relation to its true position. So let's take a look at this new example here. We can see a little bit of shift in each one of these holes. Uh, each one of these holes has shifted ever so slightly in its position relative to its true position. And we're gonna be able to capture that in the position report itself. So this first hole you can see here has a position error and it's shifted up into the left a little bit. And this next hole you can see here is shifted straight up a little bit. 
And we can do this for each one of these holes. This hole has shifted down and to the left. This one's over to the right. This one's up and to the left. This one's a down and down a little bit and over to the right. But we see that each one of these holes has its own unique position error. And that is exactly what's being reported here with this position callout. Each one of these positions has a diametric deviation away from true position. And each one of those holes gets its own line item in an inspection report. So nothing about this feature control frame is reporting either the size or the location of the center of this bolt pattern circle. We can then extrapolate if you are curious, I guess, as to what the bolt pattern circle ended up being, um, but it won't be a perfect circle. You'll have to do some sort of best fit circle to all of these points since they have their own positional deviation and that's how the real world's gonna work. So you'll have some sort of best fit circle, really doesn't apply to anything functionally anyway. And the position of the hole, if you're curious, you could also report that, but again, it's not a necessary reported. Um, the only thing we have to report here and the only criteria, the only uh, rejectable criteria in this feature control frame is the position of each one of these eight holes individually. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit with position on bolt circle diameters uh, and the interpretation there. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.